Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we are going to educate on the glute-focused walking lunge. Now, when you're performing a walking lunge, you can bias other tissues such as the quads, but today we're going to focus solely on the glutes. So Sue is going to demonstrate for us on, on how to set up specifically for this movement. Now, when we are looking at stride length, and to make this as simple as possible, we're going to showcase Sue taking just a normal stride, but when we're focusing on glutes, we wanna think about it in maybe a stride and a half within her normal stride length. So if she goes back to her starting point, now she will take a, a step and a half, and this is going to allow for her to bias hip flexion, which is going to allow for us to fully focus and lengthen those glute fibers as a whole. As she goes into the lunge, she's going to allow for her spine to stay in a neutral position and allow for her to fall forward, which is going to lengthen those glute fibers specifically. She's maintaining a neutral pelvis position by contracting her abdomen and stabilizing there. You don't want to allow for your body to go into anterior pelvic tilt by pushing the glutes out and then going into thoracic extension of the abdomen. You wanna pull that abdomen forward to keep that spine in a neutral position. From here, Sue is going to drive very hard through the heel of her foot with the leg that is forward to allow for us to bias those glutes. Another key point of this movement is going to be how Sue is stepping forward. So I'm gonna have her face the camera and we're going to have a slight degree of adduction at the hip as she strides forward. So you'll see that she's stepping more towards her midline rather than just stepping straight out. This is going to allow, again, for us to be able to bias the glutes in that fully lengthened position. We spoke about the insertion and the origin of the glutes in our barbell glute bridge video. If you wanna check that video out, click right up here. And here's a video of Sue demonstrating that stride length as well as showing you the adduction at her hip. Here are two examples of how you can perform this movement. If you're a beginner or someone who has never performed this movement, it may be better for you to take a stride and collect yourself with both feet in the same position before you take your next stride. In a more advanced setting, you can just continue to stride after stride to allow for you to target those glutes fully. If you love this video, we've got more where that came from on Instagram and TikTok. Check us out.